Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about prosperity and why I think it's actually an important topic when we're looking at recovering from trauma or emotional dysregulation. It's one that can be quite triggering when we start to dig a little deeper and look at money beliefs and worth beliefs and things like that. And so sometimes I can even also want to shy away from it a little bit because of that reason. However, Again, because of that reason, it's a really important thing to talk about and work our way through. How do we get through these triggers in this very important area? So I think firstly, it's really good to define what is prosperity. And I think sometimes part of the resistance around investigating this topic or thinking about this topic is the automatic association that it's about money and money only. And then the association with the term abundance, which for me has become a little muddied in the whole new age movement and discussions. And I have the right to all this stuff, which kind of leads into a territory of what Marianne Williamson calls spiritual materialism, where we use beautiful spiritual concepts in a way that's just about self-aggrandizement, self-growth, self, 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 and not really considerate of the wider impact. And there's a funny thing going on here in that when we are still carrying unhealed trauma, we are much more self-focused. We can't really, while we're carrying all of that unhealed material, be free enough, be prosperous enough in the way I like to define it, to turn our attention outwards and more towards other people. So first let's define it. And I'm gonna look down here at my notes a little bit. I looked it up in the Merriam Webster de, 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 pa, ha, the Merriam Webster Dictionary. And the definition is the condition of being successful or thriving, and then especially in economic well-being. So the definition does lend itself, does lean towards finances. But it's not only that. And the word thriving caught my attention because this is a word that's used a lot when we're talking about well, what does a life look like when I am not controlled by my reactive responses, when I'm not stuck in the past with young wounded parts running the show and feeling scared or feeling unable or feeling confused and not really being able to move forward and make progress in life. What that is often called in trauma circles, trauma recovery circles, is thriving. There's a classic text I recommend for anybody by Pete Walker called CPTSD, which stands for Complex Post Traumatic Stress Disorder from Surviving. So, when our emotional and nervous system, our emotional system, our, our nervous system is dysregulated, we are in a survival mode, or when we're really stressed. So, it's always really good to think about the parallels of, okay, maybe I don't have that trauma background, but stress, overload, constant stress on the nervous system is a very similar thing. So what was I talking about? <laughs> um, right, 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 right. Survival mode into survival mode or into thriving. And my request to those of you that maybe go, oh, if I hear the term abundance, firstly, try replacing it with the concept of prosperity, because even the word abundance, I went and looked that up too. Let me see. Uh, it means a lot. Basically, it means lots of stuff. And I feel like this, as well as the consideration around spiritual materialism, also feeds into the whole kind of capitalist endless growth model that has got us where we are in the world today. So not my favorite word, prospering. I like this idea. So what does prospering mean to me? And I want to tell you a little story about a friend of mine from Sydney who came to visit me some years ago. And at that time, I wasn't um, making so much money. So I had an idea in my head that I wasn't prospering in the ways that I would have liked. And he came and he visited me and he said, wow, your life is really prosperous, Mira. And he told me, he's like, you're really connected with your family. You're having, you play in a band, you've got music going on, you've got people dropping around for cups of tea, you're studying. 
there was all this richness in the connection, the creativity. I was doing courses around a lot of the work that I'm now teaching all of you guys about. And to him, and I was going to the beach regularly, which I'll be doing after I finish making this video. These things are the beginnings of our experience of prosperity. So we can look at, I'm just looking again at my notes, we can look more for things like, rather than what is happening on the outside, what is happening on the inside, and how do I feel about the things in my life? So when I'm with my friends, am I present and do I feel enriched and enriched and connected? When I'm with my family, same question. When I'm taking that walk at the beach, am I really feeling the physical pleasure, the emotional pleasure of connection with nature? When I'm eating, am I really able to be present with it? The more we can come out of states of emotional dysregulation, states of uh, what Pete Walker in that book, if you go and read it, calls an emotional flashback when we're kind of experiencing the present moment as though we were still our small selves and we feel that same emotional tone that we had back then. Or am I in my current adult present day body in its most regulated, calm, open state, enjoying the things that are around me that I have? Am I making a meaningful contribution to the people around me? No matter how quote unquote small that might be, have I been kind today? These kinds of reflections. Was I able to take my focus off myself and my pain and help someone else out or enjoy something with someone else? This is prospering. This is thriving. With this comes the capacity to be consistent enough in one's life, to experience gratitude naturally, not from a thought in the head, but an actual experience, that the emotional dysregulation goes down and we are able to start doing those things from a different place. Because here's the thing, just an extra little point, even if you're making the money, and I've got plenty of clients like this, that have been driving themselves into that state, grinding themselves into that state of making that money, and so that doesn't feel prosperous to them. It's not just about that. Having the internal state of actually loving yourself, loving the people around you, enjoying your life, feeling fulfilled, knowing that if you do get triggered and go into survival states or go into fear states, which everybody does, we're human, that you know what to do with that, that you know yourself well enough, you know your nervous system, you know how to regulate, you know how to handle it. That, my friends, is thriving. And from that kind of state, that kind of space, the capacity to ask for more money, to be more consistent at work, to grow a business, to change your career, to manage the money that you do have better and with less fear and more appreciation starts to come in. These are my thoughts on prosperity and prospering, and I sincerely hope that they are helpful to you. Please do leave me a comment down below if any of this has resonated for you. It really is a beautifully prosperous thing for me to receive the contact, knowing that you've watched it and that something has resonated and also just, you know, a beautiful exchange and sharing of ideas as well. I hope this helps your life, your thriving and your prosperity.